much-loved BBC local radio presenters are signing off for the last time as the BBC drastically reduces its local radio output with many shows now simulcast and networked across the country. Some local radio output, for example, just features Radio 5 Live. So, Sue, isn't local radio one of the things that we pay our licence fee for? I feel really strongly about this. Just this week, two people have, have um, finally bowed out of, of um, lovely, uh, long, long-standing radio jobs. Paul Miller from Radio Solent and uh, John Gilmore from uh, BBC Radio Lancashire have both gone this week. And also this week, um, Mark, Sir Mark Thompson, who used to be the DG at the BBC, he's done a podcast with my old boss, Roger Bolton, also saying that he regrets the uh, demise of local radio and that something ought to be done about it. You know, ra local radio is so important to people. You, um, you, if you've got to feel part of a, a community, part of part of your where you live, and localities are different. So, if if um, you know you want to know about local events, local weather, you need lo good local journalism with local stories to make you feel that you're part of. of uh, you've got a relationship with your radio, really. And a lot of people who haven't got very good mobility, they haven't got very good um, sight, maybe, they or they need mm. their radios. The radio is a really important companion. I'm a patron of a charity called the British Wireless for the Blind Fund, and I know how important radio is and local radio to, to people who, who can't see very well. Most definitely it's company. It's also important local information about crime, activities that are going on. Um, you're so right. You mentioned Paul Miller, John Gilmore, legends of local radio broadcasting, uh, chucked on the scrap heap, in some cases after two, three or four decades of wonderful service. And, of course, the other thing, Sue, is what a great breeding ground local radio is for future broadcasters, legends like yourself. So, Sue, I look forward to catching up really soon. Thank you for drawing our attention to that important story. Uh, my thanks there to Sue Cook, former BBC star journalist and broadcaster. Coming up next, we've got the papers with full...